All right, I don't know where this video from where I'm going to begin is going to end up, but uh, I'm going to post it anyway once I, I finish it. Like I said in earlier videos, we want to check out, uh, I kind of hoard the same action figure. Every time I see one for sale, of the, whatever particular figure it may be, no matter how many I have, I just like to buy the same one because it always gives me that good happy feeling. I do that with uh, vintage Han Solos, you watch that video, vintage Zartans. Another one happens to be Zap from G.I. Joe. He was one of the first ones I ever got. Maybe the first two or three G.I. Joes I ever got. And uh, here is one of my first G.I. Joes ever. As you can see, he suffers from broken hands. Zap over the years, I think due to his light green molding, uh, he was very brittle. You're not going to find hardly any G.I. Joe Zaps fully intact. At least the straight arm version. Because here's one of my survivors from childhood, mostly. Um, he was a failed uh, Zartan custom. Uh, the only original parts left is his head and his arms, but his fingers stayed on pretty good. And I was able to pick this one up at a flea market last year. and He's complete, except for his helmet. Wrong color, but whatever. Yeah, these crappy hands and arms is probably why the 83 year that they changed to the swivel arm. Because it's a softer plastic and wasn't brittle. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of use. Like, not almost... None of my other swivel arm figures had broken hands at all, so... They did, uh... They did fairly well in changing up the formula. In fact, I got a whole big bag of, uh... Straight arms here. I bought off eBay for about, I don't know, 10 bucks or so. There's a couple of other parts I had laying around the house too, but mostly this is like 1982 G.I. Joe stuff, and they're all broken thumbs. It's weird, when you have a big bag of parts like this, you feel like I have to restore them all, but uh, that's, that's not feasible. Yeah, I bought this bag just because I needed some Snake Eyes arms that were in there, but look how many zaps were in there. Oh my god, all broken thumbs. This I picked up a comic shop I always go to. Got him fairly cheap. Of course, he's missing his fingers too. I tried to fix him. He was only miss he was missing one arm, and uh, I changed rubber band and he broke. He was brittle. I glued most of the crumbs back together, and you got this. Something it just stands there, displays. It is damn near impossible to find a zap complete. With his hands intact, and they go for, I don't know, probably like 150 bucks or so. I don't feel like paying that. Swivel arm doesn't cost as much. I picked one up, as you saw earlier in the video. I picked him up for, I don't know, like 10, 12 bucks. I, that, was a, that was a good price for him, but normally you'd see that for probably 40, 50 dollars. Swivel arm was made out of better plastic. Got in the mail today from eBay another torso, and I'm afraid to use this thing because I don't want it to snap on me again. My other restoration of this version of Zap, yeah, that one broke too because I tried to put the uh, wrong backpack in. And he broke, but that, that was able to be a clean fix. So I'm going to try a little something else, a little trick I learned. We're going to use Armor All Protector in. Protectant. I'm going to put some of this stuff on there. going to let it soak overnight, and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to try and replace the torso. Yeah, I really don't want to break this because uh, I spent like eight or nine bucks on this, and I'm, I don't want to snap them. Oh, it looks, feels like somebody already put some. Already kind of greasy. But yeah, I don't want this to break again like I did the last couple torsos I bought. Alright, I sprayed some on there. Trying to get it on the little nooks and crannies. Rejuvenate this damn figure. You know, if this stuff is supposed to bring life back to your crusty old dashboard in your car, then why not a 1982 G.I. Joe Zap?
the next day, moment of truth. Will I break it? Okay, so far so good. That's where it broke the last time. I think this is going to be successful. I heard the little arm joints tend to break easily too. I haven't had that problem. I got a whole baggie full of other arms. Oh, went together. Very carefully. Don't gonna do it too tight. <sighs> it's back together. Yeah. All right. This is probably the best representation of them I have. My original one's got a flappy little knee, but you know, good. It's a little slick from the the stuff, so I'll just wipe that off. I mean, this cleaner off actually works on uh, your fingers get sticky after a long time sitting in storage. The plastic is a breakdown, and this helps restore it. Look, he's got a good shine on him too. I should use that, give him a wipe with the, the rest of them. On his arms and legs. Because it really brought out the color. Look at that.